purchase. Prepare to be pulled within. Hold on to your tails. When he said I have purchase, I was like, what did you buy? <laughs> Hey internet, it's what? Jessica, and welcome Give back to Marvel's Guardians Odyssey. of the Galaxy. We're on chapter 11, it's called Rain. Mind Over Matter. You teleported us? So yeah, oh, we're oh, in a you're different so place. Cozy with me. I just merged your mind. Ooh. Okay, Mercer, so what? I gave no consent to this plane. We found a uh, warlock who we need to help sure defeat this. the Fate Universal the Church of Truth. Don't you get huffy, God? But I wonder what Mantis You're is trying to do with us. Over this mess. What's that supposed to mean? I thought this guy was how we cure Drax. Cure and cause can coalesce. He does talk like a Shakespearean guy, so you know this should be very interesting. But um. I don't know. What are we looking at? Is that like a planet or somebody's head? Second biggest? What's the first? That's Drax's head, isn't it? Uh, guys? Is that Drax? Right! So we're going into Drax's head. Literally. Green Meanie's in there somewhere. Find him! Oh, this is kind of cool. So we kind of have to go into his mind and like convince him, like, Mantis, please tell me what he's seeing isn't to be real. Going into the bright light. Pretty sure. You need to reach the heart of Drax's promise, much deeper than I've ever seen. Wait, okay. You've never seen it. Does that mean it never happens? Hope not. Just keep going. And if we lose contact, listen to Amy Winsock. <laughs> she means you. Quite clearly. <laughs> Amy Winsock. I love Mantis. What? What the hell? This is inside his head? This is Drax's promise? Mine was a lot less... downery. This is just the doorstep. Okay. Poor guy was stuck here, reliving the loss of his family. I figured it had to do with something primed him about his family. You know about it, Goldilocks. More than I mind. <laughs> Everyone on this team is so rude. The epitaphs are all inscribed Hovat and Camaria. You can read that junk. All elocution is native to my tongue of truth. I am Groot. I am Groot. You, you can speak Groot? Oh. That may be the weirdest thing about you so far. <laughs> well, according to Goldilocks over there, he can understand all languages, so that's kind of cool. All right, I don't think I can run. No, I have to keep walking, so I can't, like, really look at much else, So this is Drax's subconscious. Oh. There's the big galoot. That was easy. This is just an echo, little fuzzy. Part of poor Greeny can never stop me. Uh, I'm not the only one that hears that. Thanos? Right? <laughs> that? No. Thanos. We got a runner. Aster and Spock. I don't know this. Oh, sh okay. <laughs> well, I did not expect to see Thanos. Oh God! So <laughs> I just walked off. <laughs> Yo, Gamora, Drax? it's your dad. Not Drax. That's Thanos. Oh, you weren't wait. expecting a family Hello? reunion. Hey, Gamora. I'm gonna enjoy this. Wait. I'm fighting him now? <laughs> Mega ability unlock five barrel barrage, conquering his traumatic fear of water to save his friends, freed Rocket from all restraints. He'll now gleefully reveal the entirety of his massive arsenal and bombard enemies with bullets, missiles, and projectiles. The result is massive damage to the target area. Oh, sh oh, that's actually kind of cool. We do need that for Thanos, though, because uh, you know. Hope the rest of you are ready Whoa! For this Jesus, bro, I'm not, bro. I'm not. I'm not. Uh. Suze ain't got nothing on this. Since we're boss battling Thanos. <laughs> Did not expect to open the video like this. I know. It's like they want me to keep blowing them up. Okay, we got splat. I gotta admit, every time they go splat, it paints an awfully nice picture. Way we? <laughs> what does that say? There's no way we lose. Today. No way we well, lose. Uh, this is our way. All we lose is get lost in the paint. We are painting the battlefield right now, Rocket. In Please so tell me this shades. is the right one. <laughs> but if we're too excited. This love fest, this dazzling euphoria, it'll all disappear. Who's with me? Yes! Okay, I got scared for a second. I'm like, did they not buy that? Oops. Okay, rocket. Where's this new one? This one. What's with that helmet? Holy <laughs> Damn! That was super-
super cool. Okay, we got Gamora. It's all you, Drax. Really Gosh, killed this guy? Insane. Clearly not. <laughs> not so tough after all. I was about all. to say, yeah, that was kind of easy. Not right. For for. You failed to fathom the rules of this realm. <laughs> uh, what the? Okay, that's new. That's new, right? Wait. I think I'd remember there being two of them. Twice the ugly, twice the target practice. Wait, but Thanos does have a brother, doesn't he? <laughs> so, um, shit. Wait. It is a destined defeat. Whose side are you Warlock on? just said you don't understand the, the realm of this plane. You wanna see some so am I supposed to fight them? Or just, like, leave them alone? Like, what do I do? I feel like we're doing this wrong. I don't know. What else are we supposed to do? You want to lend a hand? Oh, they're multiplying! Fear given form. It is a futile forest. He said no. Yeah, I got that. Do I let them thing. wait? Let, do I let I'm him ready. defeat me? Find me an opening. Because the more I kill them, the more they're multiplying. I don't think that's right. Nice. Yeah. Peter? Whoa. Hey, what's happening? That's it. That's why I couldn't see. <sighs> Did I do it right? <sighs> Because if it's not real, don't give in to it, right? Uh, That's the whole point of the promise. You don't hey, give in to it. We ain't that. All right. I I think we I'm did glad I listened. <laughs> but I don't see Drax. Mantis? Your soothsayer holds no sway here. So we're getting Your deeper. Trespassers on tainted land. Okay. I guess that means we're in the right place. Yep. It's just, where are we? Oh, good. Not creepy at all. What the fuck? Hold up. Look. I bet I could beat you to the center. Is that his daughter? You you father, That's his daughter! I only fear you disappoint in this lesson. Always study your surroundings. And have you? These walls carry the history of our people. They're just stories. You're stalling. Not much more than that. Let's see if you've been paying attention. That's kind of sad. Not so fast, little one. Drax, wait up! Okay, we're gonna have to go after him. What's this way? <laughs> I'll just go a different way. What's over here? These walls are all rings, just like the gravestones. There he is again! Drax, buddy, wait up! Forced to follow fools. <laughs> Damn it! I can hear you, the great heart. On a board built by your opponent. You got a better idea? I'm all ears. So do I go the way that Drax is not going? I wonder. If, if everything that you're supposed to do is supposed to be the opposite. If the thing with Thanos proved anything, don't fight it, let it kill you. You know what I mean? Don't give in to that kind of thing. Maybe it's just like can't be too far. going the opposite oh, way. Assuming we ever catch him, what then? I'm working on that. <laughs> Your friend is too far fallen to be wheeled back. There! Look! Hey, how did you beat me? <laughs> because I am your father. You've been playing in your mother's garden again. I was hunting. Hunting dirt? No, I chased it, but it was too quick. Only fools rush forward. A hunter waits, chooses her moment. Drax. <clears throat> Papa, are you all right? Drax, come here, it is time to come home. Oh, it's a thing. What the fuck is that? That thing that came out of the mind stone or soul stone. Which stone is it? I forget again. <laughs> Mother waits. Insidious succubus. Release your throne! Do something, Shakespeare! It's not in Kansas anymore. I could have told you that. What the fuck are those? Spawn of Ew! Shadow. Snuff their source while Wait, I'm the They're way. coming from those nests! So, if that tells me anything, get the nest! Okay. Cries Yo, what the hell? Well, you get all those nests. Relent, you right. Where's the rest of the nests? <laughs> Shit. Okay, over here. Uh, Peter, maybe hurry up with those nests. Uh, 
What did you buy? <laughs> Don't you dare. Wait, out of my car. Everyone all right? I think we're okay. I'm all right. I think we gotta look at whatever's keeping us from Drax. You saw simply its spawn. That black stuff. I saw something like it in my promise. Yeah. There will be more. We have merely moved deeper within its domain. Speaking of which. Wait a second. Oh, sorry. Uh, where's his journal? This has. I haven't really been reading Peter's journal, but has he said anything about- yeah, this. Feels kind of weird wandering Drax's mind seeing the fears and pain he, he can't let go of. We got close to one of them, the mad titan himself, Thanos. There was no beating him, but as soon as we threw in the towel we were somewhere else? Progress? We've got to keep going, find Drax and get him act to actually talk to us. We found Drax playing with his daughter, Kamaria. No wonder he doesn't want to leave this place, but it's not real. We've got to make him see that, and I think we're making progress. When I called out, I swear he could- he heard, but we're not alone here. We've got our first look at whatever's behind the promise, and it doesn't like what we're doing. Yep, because it feeds on us, right? Feeds on- Is that Drax's wife? Their pain. I think so. Hovat. Then this must be Drax's home. Okay. <laughs> you two certainly took your time. Only fools rush. Come, my love. Let us go inside. Drax, buddy. Your words are wasted, wind. Easy, all right. I got this. Come on, big guy. I know you can hear me. Why do you haunt me? We're get, uh, hey, at least he talked to us. It's me, buddy. Stormlord, remember? We're all here. You're a new guy. This, Drax. <laughs> Come on, you big luck. Don't leave me alone with Quill. Drax, dinner is ready. Oh, shit. That's not no. Hovat. You gotta let her go. Do not know what you ask. Oh, I feel like tearing up. I feel so bad. Damn it. Oh, here we go again. Shit. Because, like, yeah, we're asking him a great deal to let go of his family. That's not easy to do, especially when he's grieving so clearly. All right, All right let's go to the spawns. Like last time. Make no, haste. this one, this one. Mom means uh, to snap shut. I cannot contain it. All right, we got that one. Good job. Uh, I'm just gonna ignore the little ones because there's literally no point. Shit, shit. Working on it. Got that one. Ow. Peter, maybe hurry up with those nets. Good job. Wait, where am I? Uh. God, get out of the way so I can see. Yo, I am trying, bro. I'm working on it. All right, that should do it. Or not. Wait. Oh, we're not done. No, no, no. There's one more. Where the fuck's the last one? You think these things were oh, over there? Too? Try not to think about that. Watch your back. Fuck it. That's the last one. Okay. Endless entropy. Cease this charade. Cover your eye holes. Where are we now? Not good. Yo, why is it dark? Is where we are. Maybe it's not all bad. I don't see any new promise, at least. We are an empty eternal echo. Naked nothingness. Not helping. Hobo wizard. <laughs> All right, everyone just split up and look for a way out. 
Split up oh, where, no. bro? I can't even Whatever. see nothing. I lose a bet if I die in a dark pit. It was a Mantis. No, we have to focus on Drax, I think. Come on, buddy. He said, Warlock said that me. Mantis can't hear us anymore. Funny. I know you're in a dark place right now. Literally. But we're not gonna <laughs> give up. Just point us in the right direction. I'm just gonna keep walking straight. I don't know where to go. Drax? <gasps> Drax! I can't believe that worked. Let's go. Part of him is still with us. I'm sure of it. I hope you've got one hell of Peter's always got speeches. Don't worry about it. Why are you doing this? Do not leave me be. You gotta trust us, Drax. We're trying to help. By destroying my home. Your blissful ignorance is in ignoble pursuit. Easy, Shakespeare. <laughs> you got this. Come on. You don't really want to stay in this dark hole? I would endure the depths of Sarduth to be with my family. Drag, love. It is time to eat. That ain't your wife, man! seem really special. They are the only thing that matters. My Hovat was the most fearless mate I've ever known. She brought me peace even during times of war. My Camaria. My innocent little Camaria. She was the best of us both. Despite her meager stature, they both were were. They were. I love that they're showing this side of Drax too, because you know I he's my favorite character in the Guardians. Yeah, now he can see it. Will. My family is gone. What sits before me? I don't know. It's a lie. But it's not real. It ain't good. It is a perversion, fed by desperation. Without it, I will have nothing. I cannot be alone again. You're not oh, alone, Max. We're here for you. We've all lost someone, Drax. But it gets easier if you surround yourself with the right people. I'm oh, gonna cry. <laughs> this is so said sweet. Some mushy stuff. Let's just pretend I said it too. We're a team. Papa, are you okay? Join us, Drax. Not her. This is his family now. Are you hurt, Papa? Talk to us, love. Cherish the time that we had, and not resent the time that we lost. <gasps> Shall love and honor you both, always. There you go, Drax.
Oh, wh wait, what? What is happening now? Did he just like absorb himself or something? Cause he he was the one who helped create that thing, right? If I remember correctly, whatever Mantis was saying, right? Is that how that works? How you doing, big guy? You okay? I am of sound mind, thanks to you all. I owe amends for my lapse in judgment. No, hey, Drax, that's understandable. I once again, I like right. that they're showing this side of him because Drax is supposed to be like the <laughs> big scary Honest dude in Guardians. Great darkness grew with every lie that I swallowed. The longer I remained with my family, the more certain I became that I could never leave. It's also so nice that they finally solidified that they're the guardians and they're a team pain together. Is half of my own. The darkness may consume her entirely. Not if I can help it. We gotta be smart about this. There's a whole lot of converted between us and her. A whole lot of that black dwarf, too. And anyone want to tell me why Harry Hobo was able to suck it up? More why that thing looked like him. Yeah! Because it is me. Oh, he got an outfit! He's not naked anymore! <laughs> Time to go! But yeah, it makes sense that it is him, because if they were the ones who kind of helped do with the whole thing of the universal truth, I kind of get that. Alright. Hey, Goldie Braun! Want to get back here and explain that bombshell? Time is tight and your understanding unimportant. Can I shoot him? <laughs> Come on, let me shoot him. Uh, reason. Hey, we're in this together and Smart Money says it's going to be a tough I don't know if guilt works on this guy. Fight. Imagine ambivalent omnipotence drifting in darkness. Uh, speaking of dark. Ah. Such was my celestial solitude. Power without purpose until uncovered by Raker. His crew were convalescent. Plagued by a pox, I was serendipitously suited to soothe. A ship full of sick people just happens upon someone with limitless healing. We were need and needed. Symptom and solace. You worshipped the wonder of my ways and declared me divine. I think we know where this is going. I do not know where this is going. <laughs> this is the scary part? As the flock of followers fawned, a dark delight developed deep within me. Mm. And in the shadows it spoke. Weak whelps. Pernicious priesting. Feeble fools fit for feasting. Hubris made hunger. A cancerous craving called Magus. Oh. No, no, no. I, I keep going, keep going. Want? Talking about Magus devotion. now. I too heard this voice and could hear nothing else. Adulation, flagellation, gorge with grief and consternation. I told you this was the scary part. It was pure putrefaction. Sown from the seed of my strength, my soul stone gone sour, I resolved to rip it out. Rip it out? You can How? do that? A mechanical marvel wrought by Raker would sever the stone from my skull and excise the evil entangled within. Translation, you let Raker steal your powers. Whatever his wayward wander, he was on that day my friend. He swore to separate sanctity from sin, that my healing could yet be harnessed without harm. Sure, but who's harnessing it? Play Morlock. Sounds like you were careless. Ooh, I don't know what to say here because, like, in a sense, yeah, a little bit careless, but he had every intention just to separate himself from the bad part of himself. But in reality, you can't really do- if you were to take a look at like normal people, not people with superpowers, you and me, uh, watching this video. We all have those moments where we start thinking like negatively, and some people do think about bad things, right? It- it does happen. But, um, it's a- I think it's a matter of you understanding that and you- not giving into the darkness, especially if- if he's saying he just wanted to heal people, right? 
I, it sounds like he was getting like a god complex. That's kind of like what it sounded like to me. And he couldn't like handle that. So is it is it weird to be blaming him? Because it seems like Raker is just like some guy that was there, his friend. And I guess he could have been taken over by Magnus because the, the 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 stone all the infinity stones are pretty like powerful if you really think about it so he probably wasn't equipped to handle it anyway so is it bad if i were blaming warlock i don't know i kind of want to just say that sounds like you were careless deluded by desperation my mind was melding with magus did it work at least in a savage sense it split my soul in twain and cast us to the cosmos so no for me there was only darkness I awoke half whole, certain the stone shattered. No. How Magus merged with another I know not. I think I can answer that. We did that. After I rejected my promise, I got pulled into Nikki's. Corral was there. She was trying to show me something. Peter, you can't trust anything you saw in there. This was different, and it felt different. She took me back to the QZ, and I saw that Magus thing. I saw it get all twisted up with Nikki and I I saw it kill Corel. You hear yourself? How'd she show you this if she's dead? Quite conceivably. Her soul may be snared by the stone, chained to the child. Focus on Nikki. She says she Nikki needs to accept her death. You mean we could get her back? No, you know what? I know it's fucked up. I would like to say Corel because I actually like her. But like, this is the whole point of this. You need to accept what has happened. That's kind of the theme about this story anyway. Like, even from the beginning, Peter with his mom, he needed to accept the fact that his mom is gone. Drax accepting the fact that his family is gone as well. And Nikki needs to do the same with her mother. You have to accept things to move forward. You can't focus on the past because you never will. That negativity and all that crap is just going to be stuck with you, which is what the promise is. And Magnus, I guess. And um, I guess you could say that about Raker too. Uh, uh, not Raker, uh, Warlock too. When he was just like healing people, he started focusing on the negative, which is why it was overthrowing him. So we have to focus on Nikki. We have to move forward. That is the only way we can fix this. That's what Corel said. The three of them are somehow connected. She said Nikki needs to accept her death. Magus preys upon her pain, manipulates her mind while feeding on her flock of followers. And I'm guessing it never gets full. No. Its appetite is insatiable. If unassailed, Magus will absorb all. We're gonna need one hell of a plan. Well, you better come up with it quick, because I see daylight. The bond between Magus and Matriarch must be broken. It harvests its hunger through the host. So, Nikki's like the head vampire. If we cure her, it'll free the rest. Why didn't you just say that? <laughs> so step one, find oh, Nikki. Oh, we're, we're moving, sorry. Step two, convince her mom ain't coming back from the dead. Step three, get that stone away from her and mop the floor with that Magus thing. Right. You show no shortage of assurance. Yeah, this one's Mr. Positivity. It's enough to make you sick. The stone is both bondage and bridge for Magus, and a young mind is most malleable. Yeah. If Magus is merged with her, she may not Nikki is very so vulnerable because kids are vulnerable to things to that they the don't really downer, understand, but right? How are we supposed to find the kid? What are you... What's going... Oh, Flark. What? Oh, Flark. Wait. Huh? Oh, shit. They've got the cortex. They can go anywhere, convert anyone. Oh, there she is! Or I should say, there's Magus. Chapter 12, nowhere to run. Yeah, literally. Now. Why does that sound like you're not coming with us? These are my people. Some still survive if I stay. Then we'll stay and help. Go. I'll be where I'm needed when I need to be. Thank. Oh, Mantis! Just trust me. Okay. 
Don't go dying on me. Yeah, please don't. I love Mantis. <laughs> I'm starting to actually get you. Boy, that's not good. But at least now we have everybody on board and like to get rid of Magus and everything, you know, instead of everybody separating. It's exactly what we need. Pop a squat, golden boy. You're making me nervous. Or perhaps your nerves need gnawing. What did I do? This precarious plan proves more meek by the moment. The Madonna was meant to be among us. She knows what she's doing. Eventually. What sorry sins I have wrought to rest me among such a motley crew. Is he going to my Did room? <laughs> Did he take my room? <laughs> Not so much as a yip from the mud. Groot says he'll keep trying. Where's Mr. Fancy Words? It is assumed Peter Quill's quarters. It was a daring display of dominance. Don't you start. Usually I'd say who needs him, but... We do. So you better fix this one, Quill. Just try not to piss him off any more than he already is. If it is to be a fight to the death, I will honor the outcome. If he kills you, I get your guns. <laughs> you guys are so rude. Okay, well, that's great. You bet on Peter winning that fight. It took all five of us to beat him last time. I still can't believe he caught one of my smart bombs. Just like that. We have already fought the man. Hold on. You don't remember? I remember sparring against the Celestial Madonna in a small village. And then the cold darkness of the promise devouring my soul. Until you found me. Yeah, you missed the Oh, uh, okay, so everything from when Mantis took over, he doesn't remember. Moore, are you okay letting Mantis fight the church alone out there? She won't fight. She'll focus on evacuating people. Maybe they can all hide in the caves. So she's just gonna let the church take over her home world? Mantis would tell you that people matter more than the planet. And she knows that the church won't stop coming until we rescue Nikki. You have great confidence in this celestial Madonna. She's one of the few people I know I can trust. I agree really? with that. She freaks me out. Because she's smarter than you? <laughs> kinder. <laughs> hey, that nickname makes my skin crawl. I'm furry, not fuzzy. Not even that little. Little hey, fuzzy. Quill. You seem like you're in a good mood. Huh. Do I? I've got a great idea for a new blaster extension. Can't wait to put it together. Uh, express, uh, express gratitude. Well, now that the gang's back together and we've got a minute to breathe, I think you deserve an official thank you for what you did on Lamentis. <laughs> Quill, I, uh... I know you don't like that kind of sappy stuff. Uh, we gotta be nice to really each other once in a while. Knowing about the crap those scientists did to you, not only does it make my blood boil, it puts everything into perspective. Oh, come on, it was just a puddle. I don't know if I could have gotten over something like that. You saved our lives, man. He did. You deserve a bit of praise. The rodents saved your lives, and scientists were involved. I have many questions. <laughs> Drex yeah, missed we'll so much. For the next time we all get a drink together, buddy. Okay, let me talk to Dr Why is this thing always open? Did you just... You have closed the refrigerator door. Yeah, I do that sometimes. I thought I was the only one who ever bothered. I thought I was the only one. I Par observed the tree closing at once. <laughs> Glad you're back on our side, Drax. I got a feeling we'll need to go full destroyer on this one. I shall be ready, Peter Quill. I have witnessed the threat posed by Magus firsthand. No one should suffer from its malignant lies. Well, I'm glad Drax is here I owe with all us. of you a great debt of gratitude. It would be my honor to fight beside you with all of my might. Aww. That's a lot of might. <gasps> is Groot in here? Groot agrees with you, muscles. Groot? Sounds like we've got ourselves a nice church butt-kicking party. I only hope our guest agrees to join this buttock-striking celebration. <laughs> it may be up to us to stop the church in nowhere. You ready? I am Groot. He's worried about the mutt. Says it will be easier with his help. I didn't think Cosmo would let the church take over his station. But if they got the Cortex, then... Yeah, that's... I take it Groot didn't reach Cosmo? No dice. The tree he is couldn't persistent. answer. He will keep trying. 
Oh, this is open again? We could bring you back, you know. I don't know if it's optimism or stubbornness, but it works for him. Huh. Okay. Well, let me try talking to Warlock here. Hey, Warlock. Open up. This is my room, you know. And that would be my cassette cover. You pen this pithy poetry? It's not poetry, it's music. Hard rock. It's supposed to have guitars and bass and drums. I don't think he... he... Simplistic scripture. Right. <laughs> As is its scribe. Okay. What's your deal, man? What did I do to piss you off? Your lamentable leadership allowed the Madonna to leave when we needed her talents to travel to the telepathic realm. Mantis had good reason to stay behind. She wanted to help people. We just need to get Nikki and get the hell out so we can find her again. Your tenuous tactics trust too much to fortune. Can you confidently convince me your meager measures may amply manage this mission? Answer yes. No. Clarify my meager what? What? My meager what? Your meager metal. We stand against an adversary unlike any before. Blinded by burning, hope-fueled hate. Magus, right, your evil twin. That's our adversary. Before such a blaze, still a stooge may steer. But your wide-eyed wonder is merely wit and moxie. You strut as an insecure cock uncertain of his stature. Does that mean what I think it means? <laughs> This audacity acts as stilts on sand as the tide thralls you in. Leading must be wrought off the fullness of your yearning yoke. Will it be so? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Wise words. Sure and measured. They, they, everybody but actually in the Guardians have been trying this time, so... Your demeanor differs distinctly in direction from my more willful ways. Maybe we can meet in the middle then. Yes. An oath. Will you own an oath to operate with greater aggression? To give gravitas to gravid seasons of your soul and struggle not to stand on destiny's icy flows? Sure, man. <laughs> Whatever it takes. Then assert it. I swear I'll be a good leader. That I'll be decisive and, and uh, that I won't let Manus do whatever she wants. I stand partially reassured. Uh, okay. Confront him. What about you? Can we count on you? Good enough for me. No, what about you, dude? You coming out what here nowhere you, Mr. Qu Fancy questioning words? my leadership? I don't know you won't see Raker and have a change of heart. Why would I weasel away? Didn't you used to be best buds with him? We were common company for a fleeting fallow, through which I witnessed the incommensurable extent of his sadness. He mourns his lost son. That's why he's doing all of this. The church, the matriarch... Because he wants to get his kid back. But that can't happen, right? Magus can't... No. Cannot. So? We can count on you? When you reunite with Raker, that man's gotta go down. Indubitably. Okay, sir, you still took my room. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do go more, as they think. Stagger wave? Alright. So, how is he? Frustrating. It's like talking to Suzanne Harris at the summer dance all over again. Ain't that the Humi girl you tried to impress with your yo-yo skills? Yeah, and it went about as well as talking to Mr. Cape. What's a yo-yo? <laughs> Alright, let's get going. Oh, where are we going? Jesus! <laughs> That explains why we ain't been able to reach Cosmo. If you don't answer it, they'll vaporize us. I will handle this communication. Okay. All yours, buddy. Hey, old traveler. Have you accepted the truth of the divine promise? We have. My deceased wife and daughter are with me. Thank the matriarch for her gift. They believe it? Ah, I 
the promise be fulfilled. You are clear to land on the spaceport. Damn, they're stupid. <laughs> they just let us in. <laughs> Thanks, Drax. Nowhere. Mining and commercial outposts. Edge of known universe. All them bars and betting parlors. And noodle joints. Maybe it's not as bad as it looks. It's probably I bad. It will be worse. Yeah. Raker rallies regiments while we wait, whistling in the wings. Landing as fast as I can, Gold. What the flark? What? Great cocoon boy thinks he's a butterfly. <laughs> he is a man of action. <laughs> Dude really just leaped off. What the hell? <laughs> that's the problem with him too. He's a little bit impatient, isn't he? So that's kind of uh, Let's just questionable. Just keep the church busy while we look for Nikki. Didn't think you'd be able to bluff your way through security muscles. I am quite adept at deception. No, he's good. He, 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 he did good with Lady Hellbender too. To cortex and rescue Nikki. Especially with Golden Boy jumping ship. I don't know. Should we, like, try to find him? Time is running out. We cannot lose focus if we are to save the girl. Drax is right. Let's just hope Warlock can do a bit of damage on his side. So, final showdown against Raker. This time, you'll get him for good. I intend to. We're not leaving here without Nikki. Agreed. Your kid sure got herself in a deep quill. Her mom died, man. If Warlock's telling the truth, that thing inside her is using Corel's death to manipulate her. I get it. Ain't gonna be easy getting her out of there, but I'll die trying. Aw, thanks, Rocket. I am Groot. Groot wants you to know he'll do all he can to save your kid. Thanks, you know Groot! What? I think I kinda understood that. It's the tone of his voice you can you can tell. You take care of the Milano, okay? Make sure the ship's still here when we come back. Ready, Drax? I am. My blades are as sharp as the rodent's tongue. Was that a metaphor? <laughs> it's a simile. All right, let's go, guys. Let's do this. Time to save Nikki. Oh, shit. Okay, uh, yeah. This is not going to be fun, is it? Peter. Okay. Let's be cool. Let me have We have to guys. act like we took the promise and shit like that. Oh god. <laughs> I know I have to answer. Alright. <clears throat> Welcome, travelers. Hi. Have you come to witness the fulfillment? Yes. The what now? Shh. The realization of the matriarch's promise. The beginning of a new world. One without death or pain or fear. You should know this. Weren't you vetted and clear to land here? What? Of course we were. How are you not aware of the fulfillment? Something is wrong. These heretics must be stopped. Attack! What? Um, uh, uh, uh. Okay, Mega Ability Unlocked, Wrath of Kathoth. Rejecting the promise and fully accepting his family's death showed Drax how strong he is. He now deals with moderate damage and heavy stagger to a single enemy. And moderate stagger is all nearby enemies and when in rage. He also deals more stagger while raging. Cool. Feel my faith. Wait. Oh, wow, what the take him to church, man! You have caused us consternation, but no longer! Come on. Gotcha. Wait a second, you! Careful! Proof! Hawkeye time! He is free of his madness uh, now. Hey, that guy too. Oh, sad. Keep punking their scuddy Shit. lights out. Chop it down. That didn't hit anybody. Any last words? Let's see what I can do. Death has come. I don't know if I should use the thing Rocky now. The huddle up, because I don't know what we're facing yet. Ooh, I got everybody. Hey. <laughs> nice. 
I love that combo. All right, we got them. Racco's better pray. I really thought we were gonna have a chance to talk to them, like the unifier and all that, so we can convince them. They have been very busy redecorating. Yeah, clearly. Scott, Cosmos Towers shut down. Great. That's because it's never been dark before. You do realize some of the guys shooting at us were nowhere security. This does not bode well for the dog. No. Never was the mutt's biggest fan, but we could have used the backup telepath. Uh, Cosmo is on their side. Getting to the cortex could be a lot harder. Focus this on the mission. This mission is about saving Nikki. It'll be a real shame if Cosmo bought into the promise, but like we said in Lamentis, if we cure her, we cure everybody. Yeah, we get everybody out. What That's kind the only of promise way. could they offer a dog anyway? A nice game of fetch. <laughs> exactly. We just have faith he's okay. <sighs> kind of dreading what we're going to see in the marketplace. Me too. Because I have a feeling we're going to be fighting lots yeah, of the Universal ch Church oh, really stunk uh, people. Sometimes, but... Clark, over there. There's so many of them. I thought most nobodies would have rejected the promise. Everyone wants something they can't have. I agree yeah, with Gamora. These crooks were suspicious of anyone. Yeah, I don't know, Rocket. Like Gamora said, everybody wants something. There's a, everybody Just has a desire, it so it's easy for them to be to manipulated. Me, most of them would give in. Or they'd be killed. Not an easy choice. They got Flark and Faith batteries everywhere. Just like on Hal's Hope. Perhaps they have built another giant ray gun inside the Continuum Cortex. To siphon Faith from multiple worlds at once? Is that even possible? The energy ain't filling these batteries. It's moving away from them. Wait, what the fuck? Each of us offering a service to Seer Square is a unique method of dividing the future of our clients. Myself, I can see colors inside the commonly perceived spectrum and inter- inter- in that interpreting their stories. The reader who works clo closest to me can s interpret smells. My good friend Jerome perceives fate vibrations through his finely haired tentacles, in which he wraps his customers tightly. We cannot ignore the fact that we are all experiencing glimpse, taste, and switches of the same future. It confounds us. First fire and pain, then light, true peace, acceptance. Is this the end of everything, working so close to the rift? We often get flashes of endless void, but this time we all agree. This is different and feels much, much closer. There is a growing glow with me. Gold. I now see the past as clearly as something. Clearly as something, just don't know what. So they're powering something. Sure looks like it. Well, this is not good. Okay. I think we got the drop on these guys. No. Oh. They're blind as fuck, okay? They do not fear death. Don't mean we can't hurt him first. His belief could not save him from death. Don't mourn him and beat him. Ow, what the hell? Are we disrupting the renovation plan, boys? You tell him, Gamora! There we go. All right, more perfect. batteries the deeper we go. Hundred units says they're tied to the fulfillment. The priest said that they were bringing. They can't raise the dead, especially after we save Nikki. It's another lie. Wait a second. Uh. us about these adventures. A what? They are the keepers of Katathian lore. This will be an epic tale. <laughs> okay, let's go through here. Over here! Looks like we can squeeze through. We must be close to the Mantlos bar. Can you see it? Not really. There's a lot of debris in the way. There is no way through this wall. Could be a bunch of wackos just waiting for us on the other side. Good point. Peter! Whoa! Peter! Well, that did My bad, work. sorry! I'm going in. What about the fanatics? I'll toast them if I see them. We're the only ones that can do this, right? I Clear guess. Back here, Quill. Looks like you're gonna have to yank a chunk free from this side, though. If I can find a way over there. Gamora, help this me. This looks strong enough to anchor to. Gamora, you should be able to get your sword in there now. Give me a boost. Shut Let's up. hope it holds. Oh, Scott! Not Mantlos. <sighs> <laughs> Look at her. This is personal, Quill. I know how much you love this dive. 
It was the one spot in this whole flarkin' galaxy where a guy could feel safe. I mean, except for the bar brawls and the security raids. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, hunters. wait. <laughs> we'll drink to it later. Right now, we've got to keep moving. I've been thinking about what Orlok said. Which part? He hasn't stopped talking since we met him. About it's how safe. Nikki and that Magus thing might be too intertwined to save her. There has been no sign of Goldie Bronze since he left Yikes. from our ship. Adam Warlock. Might be splattered somewhere across the lower city. What if we can't save Nikki? That's something that Peter has to accept too. He's lying about which side he was on and is just waiting to attack us. See, that's what I was thinking. Like, did you ever think about that? The reason why he's so impulsive and everything like that, that Magnus came to be, is because of him to begin with, which is why I was blaming him to begin with the beginning. I don't know. Golden boy for anyways. We were doing fine without him. I was not fine. Magus was devouring my soul. Your memory is suspect. We need his magic. Is I'm just an <laughs> We're the mites, you know I guess. We need Warlock to stop Magus' space magic ritual. We don't know space magic. Yeah, because that ain't a real thing. Sweet. Yeah, I'm You're not so complete. sure anymore. Not after Lamentus. None of this makes well, any that's sense. Some guy but talking? Mantis Hello? gave us somebody who can fight it. Somebody who also makes little sense. Exactly. But Danger lies ahead. We must get ready. Looks like the church is trying to keep us out of there. <laughs> That's not gonna work. More churchies dropping in. They'll be dropping like flies soon enough. Uh, okay. Move it. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Yeah. I love playing Chapelle. Some that weirdos deserve it. I like the the electric uh, mode because it can like shock everybody within uh, reach. All right. This looks like a dead end for some more than others. There is still no sign of the warlock. Based on when he jumped, he's probably already in the lower city. In a busted heap. Improbable. He magically shaved when our backs were turned. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of true. Emporium. How did he move the whole Emporium? It was a ship. Huh. Never would have guessed it from the inside. Eh, maybe it's more of a shuttle. <laughs> oh shit, okay, we're gonna have to walk on the side of this. Careful, <gasps> will. Guys, look down. It's an awful lot of light. You're thinking it's the full Flarkman, ain't you? Hmm. But it could just be runoff from the cables. Whatever these whack jobs are up to, they need a lot of juice. Perhaps this is how they powered their fleet to reach Lamentus. Nah, reanimate the Celestial could Head, remove Soul Stone? Handle that on its own. Maybe Raker's trying to reanimate the Celestial Head, bring it back to life? Perhaps he wishes to turn it into a ship. Bah, this thing's deader than dead. It ain't coming back and it ain't jumping through no hyperspace. Say Celestials are powered by hyperspace. Regardless, we must reach the Undercity to find the girl and stop whatever they are doing. And we'll have to be ready for them to try and stop us. The converted ones will be prepared to die in order to bring their loved ones back to life. It's Which is true. pretty ironic if you think about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little bit. It's a little bit ironic, not gonna lie. I'm hoping that we'll get a workbench soon because I'm getting a lot of uh, components so I can upgrade things. All right, Drax, help me out, please. Our level of cooperation is invigorating. We have become a formidable team. <laughs> yep, sure have, Drax. I love how positive he's being. Happy Flark and family. She's not garbage. Wait, Nebula's doll? Is that what I'm thinking? I don't know. <laughs> Behold the power of the light, Zaya Manati. Ah, shit. The 
guardians of the galaxy. Save the believers and alert the Grand Unifier. The fulfillment must not be stopped. Okay, great. We finally snapped. Gamora, wait for us. Yeah, she's not going to. Get out of here. Face us. She's talking about. That's why I was like, is it Nebula? Because she was talking about her doll before. That tracks. About how it was her sister, remember? Like, that's why she collects dolls. So that's why I thought she was like doing that, but uh, apparently not. There are more arriving. Okay, this is not okay. This is not good. Why? <laughs> that guy died! <laughs> This way? Over here, over here. Good. Gamora, wait, hold on a sec. Why? So more children can be sacrificed in the name of Rager's flagged up church. Oh no. Of course not. Just Just what, Peter? I don't know. I think she's thinking of herself and her Every sister. Minute by like, waste. What has happened to them have with Thanos to too? I know Raker brings back bad memories. This isn't about Thanos. It's about Nikki. And what men like Raker and Thanos do to girls like her. Like me. My sister. Yeah. If I had just been better at protecting Nebula, maybe... Maybe she wouldn't be dead. Whoa. What? Nebula's dead? How? By who? Tell me, so I can find him and shake his protecting hand. Yo, Rocket ain't the same the time. You killed your sister? She is the one you saw in the Matriarch's Promise. That's how I knew it was a lie. The nebula I knew had been twisted into a hateful, vengeful monster thing. One who would never stop unless I stopped her. So I did. I just never expected to survive. Why didn't you say something? It's not exactly a conversation starter. Hi, I'm Gamora. I murdered my sister. Can we be friends? Of course we can't. How can you be friends with a monster? Oh, no. Why would you want that on your team? A team I actually... I kind of enjoyed being on, all things considered. Well, uh, I hate Nebula, so I actually would have... <laughs> I'm just saying it don't change nothing. Actually, it changes everything. The most deadly woman in the galaxy just admitted... She loves us. <laughs> <laughs> I did not. You did. You said you were in love with us right after the part about killing your sister. I said I enjoyed your company. <laughs> that is the Katathian definition of love. Like. I I'll give you like. C can we just move on? Agreed. That's about all the love fest I could take. We accept you, Gamora Zenwubri. Pretty sure we're married now. This is excruciating. <laughs> <laughs> that girl is making me laugh. 
laugh so all much. Alright, I'm pretty sure we've all caught our breath. Let's say we go stop a nut job cult leader. Yes, yes, please. I'm really glad that everybody's kind of like having their moment, you know? This is really nice. I, I appreciate that. Now Gomorrah's got her own uh, ability. So, mega ability unlocked. Executioner. Have revealed the truth about Nebula and found a family who, is, uh, who accept her for all she is. Gamora no longer holds back. The deadliest woman in the galaxy now deals super heavy damage by hitting a single target with multiple strikes. Let's give that a try! There we go. I cannot see anything. Oh shit, wait a second. Uh Yikes, bro. This combat is sure to draw the warlock's attention. We ain't gonna see him again. No way. I hate dealing with these things because their life arms are huge! That big robot is a serious problem! Guys, huddle up! Oh, I pressed that by accident. I didn't mean to. I just <laughs> But you know what? We kinda need it. It's okay. Victory will soon be ours, my friends. Unless they send reinforcements. If they Unless... do, we'll have to move like lightning. Hit them from behind. <laughs> But what if they're too fast? Unless what we if need another plan? Uh, thinking about. Hey, hey, hey! Every battle comes with some kind of curveball, but trying to predict where it's gonna land only makes things worse. Relax. It's easy to overthink when things get tense, but if we focus, we can hit him hard. Who's with me? I am with you, Peter Quill. We are. Feel it. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Come on, Gamora. Yeah, yeah, we're all a bunch of misfits, I guess. What's next, Peter? Leave on the hurt. Jesus! Yeah. Bring out the big guns, They're I guess. Gamora, run up through! I'm gonna use my special ability as well. <laughs> I shall break their bones! Why is this thing gonna die? They have this many goons. God damn! With access to the Cortex, who knows how many reserve forces they can bring in here. We gotta shut it down! Let's get to the bridge. Cosmos Tower is the quickest way. Alright. First of all, before we continue, I did get a new uh, thing, so... Grootstern! Mammoth grab! Grapples a single large enemy in place. Alright, there we go. Groot is the last one of our team that needs to unlock his, uh, like, uh, special ability. So I'm excited to see, you see that what will happen with, um, thing? Groot. I could not miss him. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end this episode right here. I'm really glad that we managed to get Drax back and kind of have everybody finally realize that they belong somewhere. But I also like the theme of this game about how they're, it's dealing with death. I think it's very interesting and like, not only death, but like grief in general, and like bad things happening, how all the characters are dealing with it in their own way. So the last person we have to see is Groot, like I said, so I'm excited to see what will happen with Groot and how he will deal with his pain and his, uh, you know, his promise, I guess. I really don't know about Adam Warlock now because like I said, having Magnus in here is not a good thing, but I'm glad we kind of like identified like what the real villain of the the storyline is. And it was pretty cool seeing Thanos. I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty cool. Uh, even though it was like a little bit of a cameo, I think that was pretty cool that he's kind of snuck in here in the game. But regardless of that, if you guys enjoyed this episode, remember to leave a like. Please let me know in the comments what you think. And once again, thank you so much to Square Enix for providing me a copy of this game. I appreciate you guys doing that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.